Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Jason Everett, and uh, I'm hanging out here with Mr. Tom Wheelwright. What is up, Tom? How are you, man? Hey, it's uh, it, you know, it's, it's a great to be alive when you're an introvert. You know, we've been <laughs> we've been practicing for this for years and years and years. So we're we're all good. The accounts of the world, we're good. That's good. And by the way, if you guys don't know who Tom Wheelwright is, uh, Tom Wheelwright has written uh, an amazing book called Tax Free Wealth. He's a rich debt advisor with Robert Kiyosaki and just one of the foremost experts in the world on tax, on wealth creation. And why I've got him on the show today is because Tom has gone through, we just created this, this uh, the government has now created this $2.2 trillion, with a T, trillion dollar bailout program. And Tom is one of the people on planet Earth, a very few limited amount of people on planet Earth, that has actually read through the whole stimulus package and can help you understand what's going on inside your business with it. Tom, is that accurate? Like you went through, how, how long is this you know, crazy? Uh, thing? It's 880 pages. I've uh, been through it a couple of times and every time I read it, I get something different. Um, went through the original bill that the Senate uh, proposed last week. So I've been through uh, multiple iterations of the bill. And by the way, more likely 4 trillion than 2.2. Just to give you some perspective. That yep. is ridiculous. Um, and I, I guess I, what I really want to do today, Tom, is I've got people who are on from all over that are watching this, that are business owners, that are franchisees, that are non-franchises, that are you know people that are unemployed, people that are trying to figure out what does this, this policy really mean? And you know, there's one thing for like the average person to try and interpret it, but you from a standpoint of being a CPA and being able to unpack like how this will actually unfold for people in their pocketbook um, would be really helpful. And I just want to say this as you guys are watching this, please do me a favor. This is super, super important and urgent that you share this because unlike your CPA, Tom has gone through this material. So do me a favor, share this, tag a business owner in it, make sure that they know what's going on, share it with your staff, share this video and make sure it gets to as many people as possible because if you don't understand what this bill really is going to do for you, um, you're just going to be guessing and Tom's going to help us not guess. Is that right, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. And and by the way, just to share, if you want more information and more from us, uh, we're at wealthability.com and we'll talk to anybody and we're fully staffed and ready to, to serve however we can. Tom, you're a freaking rock star, dude. So wealthability.com is how you get a hold of Tom Wheelwright. Yeah. But Tom, do, do me a favor and just kind of unpack this thing for us. What, what yeah. is this? So, what is this okay. So, so let's start with the big winners. Okay. Yeah. The um, big winners. I like <laughs> okay. It. Be, besides Boeing, which gets uh, up to $17 billion to bail it out from the max problem. Ooh, man. Um, uh, <laughs> the airlines get a lot of money. Um, the other, uh, the other big winners, uh, frankly, are the unemployed and the, um, franchises. Unemployed okay? and franchises. Okay. Got it. And unemployed and franchises. Okay. Don't believe what you read in the papers that the real estate people are huge winners. They are not. They were huge winners in 2017. So yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> the huge winners today are not real estate developers, despite what you've heard in the New York Times. That is, those are not the big winners, okay? That, that provision they're talking about is an, a non-issue for most real estate developers, okay? So understand, big winners. First of all, if you're unemployed, really you are a big winner because not only do you get your unemployment, and by the way, even if you were, even if you're self-employed, you get unemployment. Wow. Okay. okay. So wait, say that again because that's a huge thing. So people even are if you're an independent contractor, if your business, if you know, you like have no work, right? I mean, for example, salons. Uh -huh. Let's be fa let let's be honest. We're all cutting our own hair right now, right? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going trying to, YouTube, to make it work. Figuring out how to cut hair, right? And we're cutting, you know, I'm cutting my wife's hair. And, and uh, you know, for me, it's easy because I'll just shave it or something, you know, no big deal. So, <laughs> but salons, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go to my hair, yeah, you know, they, they my, got my hurt. hair. Yeah, they got they, hurt the worst. They, they're, they're serious hair. And I think a lot of them are just flat out of business, depending on where you are. Yeah, a lot of our salons are closed, but there's some, so there's two different types of salons, right? There's independent contractors who like go to work right. for themselves. And then there's also salons right. that have employees. Let's talk about both those for a second. Right. So both of them qualify. So that's the thing. Independent awesome. contractors get unemployment. This is the first time that I remember that independent contractors get unemployment. And the unemployment is your normal unemployment plus $600 a week. A week? So no. $600 a week plus your normal unemployment. So if your normal unemployment is $800 a month, uh -huh. then your new unemployment is $3,200 a month. So help me understand this, Tom, because I think this is a big question for a lot of people. It's like unemployment typically 
is like, you know, it's a percentage of your, your pay. And it's a very small percentage of your right. salary. Right. It's not the whole amount, right? It's like Correct. you get a piece of it. So it's going, it's whatever right. that piece is plus another $600 per yeah, week there, while you're unemployed. Per, per week. So, so there actually are going to be lots of examples of people making more money being unemployed for the next four, next few months yeah. than if they had been employed. Wow. Okay. So wow. it, it is actually a big windfall. That's, there was actually some discussion in the Senate about that. Um, but this was something that the Democrats said, we're not going to pass this bill unless you give this extra $600 per week. Wow. So that's there. So that's good. On top of that, you're going to get a check. If your income uh, uh, single was under 75,000 last year or the year before, and your, um, or, or as a married couple, it's under 150,000 plus you're going to get a check. Okay, that's on top of your unemployment. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your check is going to be twelve hundred dollars for an individual, or twenty four hundred dollars for a couple, plus five hundred dollars for each of your dependent children. Now that's so, if your income's under seventy five thousand dollars, as stated on your tax returns from twenty nineteen. Co correct. It, from twenty nineteen, if you filed in, if you've already filed twenty nineteen, uh -huh. from twenty eighteen, if you haven't filed twenty nineteen yet. Okay, got it. So either okay. 2018, so 2019, the, under 75,000 if you haven't filed. Right, under 75,000 single, under 150,000 married. Um, actually, 100, uh, under 112,500 if you're head of household. Okay, so you've got, you know, you're single with a with a dependent child. I'm sorry, I just want to make sure I got that because I, I want to write these things down. He said under- 75, yep. 112,500, 150. Okay, I, I, I'll write them right here. Yeah, let's put them up just so people can kind of get their brain wrapped around it. The one thing I did to prepare for this uh, virus was I, I, I built a whole new studio next to my house. <laughs> I love it, um, dude. It's so good. I'm so year. glad. I, I really appreciate you doing this, man, because I know there's a lot of people confused by what this actually means. And, okay. and guys, if you're, if you're on this right now, if you have friends who are independent contractors, my assumption, Tom, is that that means people, like, people who do like Uber drivers or delivery drivers that are operating their own business independently, that falls in this category, these gig workers, that's been a question. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Awesome. For sure. It okay. would fall. So, you know, I mean, I know they've been hammered. Okay. Now, yeah, totally. now hopefully, you know, they've, they've gone from Uber to Instacart. Yeah. Um, though I understand Instacart, Instacart's going, it says they're going on strike next week. So hopefully you've yeah, got well, your stuff. We'll see how that lasts. Um, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> Trump may, may impose on that. Okay, so here we go. Single, head of household, joint. Those are the limits. If you're above that, then it starts phasing out. Okay. Oh, and then there's, and then wait a minute. Don't let's not forget this. Um, Five hundred dollars per child. Uh, yeah. And what? How old is the child? Somebody asked that. They said uh, dependent. a dependent. So a regular dependent. So you know they were on your tax return, uh, as I understand. It. Now I'm still reading the bill over and over yeah, again. Can, so let's let's give this disclaimer, Tom. Like I know you've been through Please. it and you re you reviewed it, but don't don't like share this video with your CPA and say. But Tom said like you still need to review it with a it, CPA. Exactly. Right? No question. Uh, you know, what, what we're finding actually, we have a network of, of CPA firms, mm -hmm. and what we're finding as a group um, is that uh, where the doctors and the nurses are on the front line of the health healthcare crisis, mm -hmm. we're on the, the, it's the CPAs that are on the front line of the financial crisis. Totally. And, and so please call your CPA, call your tax preparer. Um, hopefully your tax preparer is now, a, you, you've got a CPA now because CPAs are going to be much more able to deal with this than a tax preparer. Mm -hmm. Okay. This okay. is one place where you're going to want the CPA. Yeah. We're not calling right. H and R block here to do this. Is like, don't, yeah, yeah. Please don't be asking H and R block to fill out your loan application for, yeah. you know, for the, for the paycheck forgiveness loan. Right. So by the way, okay. So I said big winners, uh -huh. unemployed plus anybody that made, you know, it was basically middle income. Okay. Okay. Now here's another big winner. So, uh, uh the other big, incentive here are these uh, what we call payroll forgiveness loans. Yeah, let's okay. talk about that because these are a lot of small businesses here with these, right? Okay, so um, <laughs> here's what's interesting. The rule is you have to be less than 500 employees, right? Okay, so it's a lot of businesses. Less than In order to get this. Yep. Okay, however, if you're a franchise or if you're in the food service, um, like, a, like a McDonald's, a, a Chick-fil-A, or something like that. Uh, yeah, so, so any, any like McDonald's, et cetera, but, but franchises and 
Um, you know, anybody that's not a franchise, but they have, but they're in the food service industry, like casinos, you know, so mm -hmm. casinos yeah, have, have food, locations, restaurants, right? Okay. Then they get, it's under 500 employees per location. So per that means, location. yeah, just let's be clear wow. here. Wow. Wow. This applies to McDonald's franchises all over the country. Because every location has less than 500 Because employees, every location yeah. is under 500 employees. Wow. And so right now, just let's be clear, there's 349 billion set aside for these loans. Wow. And the loans, just so you know the amount, the loans are 2.5 times average monthly payroll. So two and a half okay. months average monthly payroll from, right. from that business. Right, that's the amount of the loan that you can get under this program. Wow. And that will, by the way, it's a loan now, it's it's gonna be forgiven when you prove that you actually used it for payroll. Okay, so so, so hold on, so, I just wanna make sure we're unpacking each, each piece of this. So they need to, just to understand some steps, they need to apply for it as a loan, but in, with this new bill as it's being passed, <laughs> then it like it's for sure it can be forgiven or i mean just once they prove that they've got that is that my understanding uh like, they, they, they you do actually have to certify that um this has been used for payroll mm -hmm. or utilities or your rent okay there's payroll, a few things utility, that it okay. qualifies for but the reality is it's two and a half times but but it's four months worth of expenses so everybody's gonna everybody who gets the loan is gonna get forgiven wow okay, okay. let's let's so, just be so, real let's just I mean, you want to unpack it. Let's yeah. be clear. It's called a seven SBA seven A loan. Okay, write this down, guys. Somebody put it in the chat. SBA seven A loan. Okay, and it's not an express loan. Okay, what is that? Okay, mean? so there's a, there's an SBA express loan mm -hmm. that's also a seven A loan, but this is not the express loan. This is called a paycheck. I think it's called a paycheck forgiveness loan, something like that. Okay, got it. Anyway, so here's the thing. Just understand. Right now, McDonald's corporate headquarters is applying for loans for every one of their franchisees under this three hundred forty-nine billion dollars. Oh man, so that's it, crazy! <laughs> if you don't get on the stick on Monday with your banker, you're not going to get this loan. Yeah, so because so you need because, to call your bank, okay. or you need to go to the SBA, or who do you call? Bank, credit union, the the SBA. Now they're going to say we're not ready yet. Because yeah. they're waiting for regulations, they're waiting for rules, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. However, they, they're, the, a good bank is, now some banks don't even know what this is. I yeah. guarantee you. Yeah, bank yeah. of America, Bank of America, so, somebody calls Bank of America and bank says, Bank of America says, what are you talking about? Yeah. On the other hand, Wells Fargo has been promoting these, mm -hmm. okay? okay? And your local credit union may be the right place to go, frankly. Wow, okay. okay? Because somebody you know if you know your banker or if you have a smaller bank and they're and, and they're ones that are really, you know, willing to to serve the public, there's a lot of banks that won't touch these. Mm -hmm. My banker said, there's no way we're gonna touch these loans. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, it's you know, it, it's too difficult. Now I don't know that that's true, but it's gonna take some time. Yeah, like okay? they're gonna have to get some information, but important it, to go it's in gonna and take apply right time. now. My, um, the the banking community right now is saying that we're not gonna see these loans before the end of May. Realistically, you're not going to see money before the end of May. Okay, so so important thing to know. So like, I mean, there's a lot of businesses that may they may have some cash, they need it right some now. capital reserve. They're okay, like, I need it right now. So what do they do? Right. Well, here's what they do. There is. Um, this is different than this. Okay. And by the way, if you guys have questions, pop in your questions in the chat. I can see them coming in, and I'll do my best to get them to Tom. We got Tom for about 20, 30 more minutes. I'll ask him every possible thing I can that you guys are asking with me live. There's a ten thousand dollar grant that you can you can apply for, and that should take three days. Oh, okay, that's good. Helpful. So um, I, again, you're going to go to your bank, credit union, etc. But that that ten thousand dollars is a, it's not really going to take three days, but it's it's supposed to be really really quick, and okay. it's ten thousand dollars. So if you're a very small business and you go look, ten thousand dollars would would keep me going long enough that I can apply for this other loan. Uh -huh. Okay, that's you ought to talk to your again, talk to your CPA, talk to somebody, your banker, talk to them about these these so, possibilities. Okay, so and what is this grant? How does that get applied for? Through a bank, through the website, through what do you know? <sighs> or is it still unknown? We, you know, we we don't know. We think okay. through the bank, but um, I again, yeah. I, I think the financial institutions are really going to be at the forefront of all this. Yeah, totally. And so I would, you know, this is why you want to have a relationship. You know, we always talk about. Um, I'm watching. Uh, 
you there, Jason, with your um, Rich Dad shirt on. Yeah, yeah. And, By the way, that's how Tom know, and I know each other. So Kiyosaki, yeah. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and we've been right. And what's for what's years. Robert always talking about? He says he says business is a team sport. Yeah, totally. And so this is why you have a banker on your team. Yeah, not just like going because, into the brand. Because if you didn't, if, let me tell you something. If you didn't have a banker before now, you may not be able to get this loan. <laughs> Yeah, because you can't get I'm a hold of them. I'm not kidding. Yeah, no, well said. Yeah, how? I mean, you know, Wells Fargo maybe, right? Because they're big enough to, to handle this kind of stuff, and they're really been really aggressive on it. Um, but that's probably where I go, frankly. I mean, I'm not. It's, I'm not promoting Wells Fargo. I'm yeah, just saying no, that there's that, no bonus link here or anything. Guys. Yeah, there's there's nothing here. Okay, so so that's another possibility. Okay. There are actually several other provisions that are beneficial to small businesses. For example, if you don't get the loan. You can defer your payroll taxes um, for the rest of the year. So, say so that you know, again, if pay, you don't get a loan, you can defer if you at least don't your get payroll the loan, taxes. Yeah. If you don't get the loan, that's the paycheck forgiveness loan. Okay. Now, here's I told you that that um, we're gonna flip flip the chart here. I told you that the um, express loans. So there's an SBA express loan. Mm -hmm. And Tom, did you have a name for that ten thousand dollar grant? Was there a name for it? I can't remember if you said that. I'm sorry. I'm just sure there is. I don't, don't know what it is. Just, again, ask your banker uh, on that one. Yeah, okay. I, I, just, I'm just, sorry. No, it's I'm, okay, man. I mean, look, I'm you're, just trying to stay up on this. You're, you're uh, dumping tons <laughs> more I than can. I know, so thank you. I'm get I'm getting up at four o'clock in the morning every morning to read this stuff. Tom, so. thank you, thank you. Um, so SBA Express loan, it, it it used to be three hundred fifty thousand was your max, mm -hmm. okay, but now it's up to a million. Now, this one is not forgiven. However, that's not a bad thing. And let me okay. tell you why. Yeah. Because it's not forgiven, okay? Mm -hmm. Be because it's not forgiven, you can still take advantage of these other benefits like the paycheck, the, pay, the, the, the payroll um, tax deferral, mm -hmm. okay? So imagine, I mean, you're paying payroll taxes roughly 8% on your paycheck, uh, on your payroll. And that 8% that you're paying as an employer, you don't have to pay any of it any of it, mm -hmm. for the rest of the year. And then you don't have to pay until 50% is due the end of 2021 and 50% is due the end of 2022. Oh, so basically okay? it's pushing so, it forward. So it's pushing it forward one and then two years. Right. So you get this SBA Express loan plus, okay, um, uh, payroll tax deferral. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. or, or, okay, or five thousand dollars credit. This is payroll tax credit per employee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So that's uh, uh, that's how I'm reading it now. Understand, yeah, please. Check and get your please, please, please. Sit down with your 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 um, uh, CPA and talk to them about this because, and say, look, you know, I, I presume you read this thing. You should say that. Say, I presume, I presume you read this you've thing. read this. <laughs> and they're like, well, maybe. I think a lot of CPAs, they're getting together and talking about it and trying to, you know, mastermind it together, right? That's what we're doing. I mean, we have a, we have a network of 35 CPA firms around the country and we're, we're definitely masterminding this. You know, we're, we're getting together. We're talking about this. We're, we're sharing um, resources um, with each other. So certainly if you're, uh, if you're a CPA is a member of the Wealth Ability Network, then you're going to get all sorts of information in the next couple of days. Um, but I, again, your CPA should be your, your front line here. So yeah. these are, these are really the big pieces. Yeah. Um, uh, of, of this package is, you know, if you if you go back, so basically you've got, um, that's not it. That's not it, though you know what that is. <laughs> yeah, right. If you guys don't know, employee self-employed you, business. If you don't know the it. cash flow product, you yeah. need to be here right now. And the people who are here and here are doing really well. The people doing here and here are struggling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do another that's video on that with Tom, guys. I'll share it in the comments because we'll that's a really good video. Okay. So, so first of all, we've got this, this basically check being going out. Okay. Plus, you've got the unemployment, right? Mm -hmm. On top of that, you've got the um, 349 billion dollars of the. Um, if you know, if if you're a franchise, if you're a franchise, you should be doing this. I mean, absolutely. If you have a franchise, 
you should be doing this. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any question. Franchises should be doing this. Or or if you're um, in, you know, if you have, like big food service. I mean, these are the people who are really going to, I think, benefit the most under, under this one. Yeah. Okay, the 7A loan. Just remember, it's it's not, I mean, think about this. If your monthly payroll is $100,000, then this is $250,000 Right. Um, grant. Yeah, that's because crazy. Because it be forgiven. So, so it's, it's, it's some money. So, so I've got a couple questions coming in that I know people want to know this answer to. So somebody asked, is, Becky said, is the express loan the same as the disaster relief loan? Is that the same thing or is that no. different? Okay, good. Oh. So that's that not, the, not same the same thing. thing. Um, okay, the easy one. Somebody else asked, uh, so I have a lot of salon owners, you know, because that's the space I, I hang out in all the right. time. Salon owners want to know, there's, there's a lot of salon owners have had to lay off their staff up to two weeks ago. So a lot of salon owners have their staff on unemployment now. Should they be taking them off unemployment to take advantage mm-hmm. of this loan or leave them on unemployment? Or is it case by case, depending on your cash situation? Like, what would you advise on that? That is a question really to be asking your CPA, frankly. Yeah. Okay. okay. And, and I will how do they you, ask? I'll, what do they need to ask? You know what I mean? Uh, here, here, here's what I'm, here's what I'm saying. Okay. If you think you're, if you think that you need the staff because you think you're going to open up in two months, yeah, do this, okay. Yeah. But if you think this thing might go beyond two or three months, mm-hmm. don't don't leave people on staff, okay? Um, because um, now now payroll, by the way, two and a half times payroll includes their health care costs, awesome. okay. So if you want to cover their health care, which by the way they don't. You know, unemployment, you no don't get health care. No, okay, that, so that's, right? that's an important detail. So if you're well, on unemployment, no health care, on I, payroll, health care may still apply. Right. I'll give you an example. So my son's a bartender. Okay. So he's um, been furloughed, but it's paid furlough. Now, of course, bartenders get a very small amount of um, pay, and then the rest is tips. Yes. But he stayed there instead of unemployment because he says, I get my health insurance. And that health insurance right now is probably more, you know, is so important. So that would be a reason to keep them on the payroll is yeah. so that they get health insurance. Okay. Okay. And that's yep. a big one. Now, um, so, so, but, but here's the, okay. So let's just talk for a minute and, and uh, I, I presume we're wrapping up soon. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you tell let, me how much time you got, Tom? And we'll keep asking, but you tell me when you got to go, buddy. Cause I've got, a, I've got another event in, in like 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. So um, <laughs> I'm like on the phone from seven in the morning Dude, until five at night. It's every day right now. I appreciate you being here, uh, which is great. And, you know, I, I love doing this. Um, but so um, what? What you have to consider is cash flow. Yeah. All right. How are you going to stay open? You know, it's like um, when you know back when we used to fly on airplanes. <laughs> um, in the olden days, right? right. And they they give us this safety warning, the safety thing that nobody paid attention to up front. But what they actually were saying was, look, if you need, if there's oxygen, oxygen mask come down, comes down, put it on your face first, yeah. and then put it on your child's face or your grandmother's face or whatever. The same thing applies here. Okay, you take care of yourself, your family, and your business first, and then you can help your employees. But the biggest mistake people made in 2008 and 2009 was we saw business after business hang on to their employees for too long, thinking it was going to come back really quick. Okay. Okay? This is a mistake. Please don't do that. What we're seeing this time around is most of my clients who have been affected by this, and this includes, by the way, this includes dentists, they're shut down. Yeah, right. Got dentists, salons, all those guys. Uh, um, yeah. uh, plastic surgeons, they're sh- shut down, right? I mean, there's all sorts of people that are shut down that you think, why Why would they be shut down? Well, because, not, not, yeah. <laughs> because we don't have enough masks for, you know, yeah. for our dentist. I mean, this is, the, okay, so that's a political commentary. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so, so I want to make sure this, like, if, if I really only get one more question in, Tom, before we go out, I think that the thing that I really want to know is people are asking, like, again, should they be on employment? Should they be on staff? You've said this idea that if they're, uh, so I just want to make sure I got this, is that the idea is, is if you think you're coming back in the next couple of months, if your, your salon's going to be reopened, your dental practice is going to be reopened, and you want to retain your staff, use the grant. Right. 
If not, if you're concerned that you may not have as much business in the future as you did, leave, put, get your staff to go on unemployment. Because like, the question is, like, do you can you get the grant even if they're on unemployment, or how does that like that's no, the question. no. That's if you if you if you reduce your staff, you don't get the you don't get the grant. Got okay, uh, they go hand in hand, right? You have to use the money for payroll. So you can't, you know, I mean, you, you can't put, put them on unemployment. So this is, you know, there are, it, there are a lot of provisions in here, here to prevent double dipping. Okay, got it. Okay, so you're not double dipping. You're not double dipping. You don't get a credit and get forgiveness. Um, by the way, the forgiveness, here's a big deal. So the 250000 say, for the $100,000 um, payroll that you're going to get forgiven, mm -hmm. not taxable wow. when it's forgiven. So that's 250,000 real money. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, yes, if, if, if you think, look, this is a really temporary setback for me because people will eventually return to a new normal even if we, the virus goes for a year, there's gonna be some new normal and right. my business is gonna see an uptick, yeah. okay? Yeah. Or I'm gonna figure out how to get my business back even if the virus continues till April of next year, yeah. right? In that case, then absolutely, okay? You want to you get some money to get you through, yeah. okay? I actually think the biggest opportunity here is the, is the, is the SBA Express loan. Yeah. It's a million dollars, yeah. okay? It's not just used for payroll. You can use it to keep your doors open. Now, you have to pay the whole thing back, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. But it's real cash, Okay, so if you really are saying, well, look, I, I'm going to be fine in six months. I'm going to be fine in nine months, but I need some money to just keep going, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and, and, and to retool, right? Because a, a lot of businesses are retooling. By the way, this is the new normal. We will never go back to the way we did business before. Right. Life will never be the same. I know this because my parents lived through the Depression, and life was never the same for them, right. never again. okay, right. after totally. the Depression. Okay, you don't forget these things. And remember, all our Gen Zers lived through 2008, and now they're living again through 2020. Mm -hmm. So that generation, I'll tell you what, that generation is probably the most affected generation in history because they've gone to, through two of them in their young lifetime. Yeah. Anyway, so to, to wrap this up, by the way, lots of great tax provisions in here. We haven't even gotten to those. Um, but but really take care, the, the most important thing is take care of your finances, okay? sit. You know, I'll, I'll, um, I'll tell you, for example, if, if you're a client of mine personally, and I only have 30 clients, okay, so you can't become a client of mine, okay, so I'm not making this offer. I'm just saying that I'm doing what a lot of people are doing. I'm saying, look, to my clients, I told them last week, I said, if you need help with your SBA loan, I'm not going to charge you for that. And CPAs are there to help. And and my, my wife is a CPA. She said every time she calls clients, she goes, don't worry about this call. Don't worry about uh, getting help with this. I'm not going to charge you for this. So your CPAs are really, I mean, I think that's the one thing I've seen is the CPA community is absolutely stepping up on this. Awesome. By the way, it was the AICPA along with the Franchise Association who got that franchise piece passed. Dude, okay, so they were working together on that. And so the franchise, um, I'll tell you what, franchise did good. If you're a franchise, if, if you have a franchise, you're, you know, this you're is a, a big spot. opportunity for you. That's awesome. But, but really think about how can I retool my business? How can I, how can I make money? What can I do differently? Now's the time to actually develop a plan of action, what we call a strategy, right? Now's the time. You've got a time to think about it. If you're, if you're a dentist, you know, if you're a salon operator, how am I going to change my business? And so now's the time to really be looking for your, at your business advisor, your CPA, whoever that is, and sit down with them and say, okay, what do I do differently here? I just last, I mean, I've been talking to clients all week. That's half my time has been talking to clients about how do they retool? How do they plan for the future? How do they deal with this? And so do that. Okay. Don't worry about you know, there are some things you want to spend money on because they make money. Right. Don't stop doing those things. Yeah, invest in things that create a return on investment and get rid of the things that cost you money right now. Super, super important, right? Tom, yep. I know you got to run, brother. And dude, I, I, I could just, I know there's a thousand questions that didn't get answered in here because people Absolutely. have a million of them. We'll have to talk about maybe doing something else again. I am so grateful for the time that you shared with us today. You guys do me a favor, hit the share button, hit the like button. <laughs> go, go read Tom's book called Tax-Free Wealth. 
Um, there's some really important stuff in there. And at Tom, as you have more information, as you create content, please let me know so we can share it and I'll filter you all these questions so more people can yeah, access Yeah, absolutely. Questions. Again, wealthability.com, you know, we, we, we do free consultations. So however we awesome. can help. Um, the book, by the way, if you can't get it from Amazon, yeah, it might not be <laughs> shipping right not now. Be able to. Totally. It's on Audible. It's on it's on iBooks. Yes. So you can, you know, it's on Kindle. So you can get it other ways. Um, but but it it really is. I mean, right now, your biggest issue, uh, you know, people started by hoarding toilet paper. Now they're hoarding cash. That's right. Right. So the fastest way to put money in your pocket is reduce your taxes. Right. And taxes have been deferred till July. And Old. again, uh, 2020 taxes have been deferred until October. But what you want to do now is make your plans, work with your, 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 your tax strategist so that come October you don't have a big tax bill. Yeah. Because that, uh, otherwise you're going to have all these loans and you're going to have all these payments and you're, you're, it, that's going to put you under, not, not the crisis. Yeah. So, you know, be smart. Be smart, be cool. Totally. Yeah. And then we'll have to get Kiyosaki on to start talking about where that money needs to go instead of just hanging out in your there bank you account. So, Tom, thank you so much for spending so much time with us. I'm super grateful. We'll be back in touch. You guys do me a favor. Like, share. Get more people to watch this video because it's required and it's important right now. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much, Tom. You're amazing. Thank you. All right, man.